Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Dominic, aka Mr. Hackathon, and I show you how to build software without coding. Today, we're going to do something really interesting. Softer, one of the premium no-code web development platforms, has released some AI blocks, and we are going to use them and build something using AI today. So you want to create an account. It's free free to create. They do have premium features, but you can go pretty far with the free version. Once you log in, you will see your dashboard of projects, and we want to create a new application. We're going to start from blank or start from scratch. You are going to put your Airtable API key. We're not going to need an API key, so I'm going to connect later. We don't need all these pages for this tutorial, so I'm going to remove all these pages because I'm only going to be showing you, and I, I do need a homepage. Uh, I'm only going to be showing you the AI blocks that they've introduced. When you initiate your web app, this is what you'll get. We're just gonna remove all of the things we don't want, which is most of this. Okay, we have this header. I just want to remove everything just to remove the noise. Okay, now we're going to add three things. First, we're going to add a hero block because I want to show you a cool AI copywriting feature that they've added. Then we want to scroll down and go to artificial intelligence and they have a AI text generation block. And you may have seen, but they have another AI block, open AI Dali, so that's image generation. And what this will allow you to do or empower you to do is to empower your users with the ability to create text or create images in your platform, in your software platform. First, we're going to take a look at this copywriter tool that they've introduced. So if we click on, on um, this block and we go to subtitle, what we'll see is this little icon here. So if I just remove this, I click the icon, you'll see this copyright copywriting generator comes up. And so we have to give it a prompt. And I'm going to say a subtitle for my Chrome extension marketplace. And it gives me a subtitle and I'm just gonna add it to my app. And that is the first AI feature. They have embedded I'm not sure if it's open AI, but they embedded some AI technology to make it really easy for you to create a title, create a subtitle and additional text. Next, what we're going to take a look at is this text generator. We've added the block and what you can see here is you can adapt the title, adapt the subtitle and the placeholder text and also the button value or the button text. We can change the text output, the length of it, but we can also cha change the creativity factor. But when it comes to fine tuning, when it's in softer, that's the maximum we can do. If you're familiar with any of my previous videos or if you're familiar with AI, there's a lot more advanced fine tuning you can actually do if you're calling the API yourself. In a previous tutorial, what I've done is I've connected softer to make and I've done that via form and in make I create the advanced fine tuning, but it also allows you to unlock a lot more abilities of open AI or whatever AI tool you're using. This is relatively simple, but it's a great start for softer. Lastly is the image generator. So we click on that. As you can see, we can change the title. We can change the subtitle. We can change the placeholder. Similar to the text generator, we can change the button text and the number of image generated. 
I'm actually just going to change that to one. We can change the length of the, the length. So let's just change that to two creativity factor. Let's just say super creative. And the last thing we need to do now, as you can see here, is go to settings and integrations and actually add our API keys for OpenAI. So OpenAI is here. And what you will need to do is add your API key. So I'm going to add my API key. I'm going to click publish and show you the results. I've added my API key and now I can publish my application and I'm just going to publish it at this sub subdomain. I'm not too worried about that. Now, when I open in a new tab, you can see everything that you could previously see, but in this text generator, let's say a heading for my detailing Let's try and you can see it generates both a heading and description here. And this is great if you want to empower your users with the ability to generate ideas or generate some text. The way I've used AI is probably not in this same, not in the same instance. I probably added more restrictions to the prompt and I customized the prompt a lot more with, if we jump back, it limits the amount of customization for us as builders, as creators. It limits what we can do right here. Let's try the image generator. So we have to give it two words. Let's type in cloudy. Spend that right. Skies. And it's bought by a cloudy sky. I can download this and I can look at this image. Both of these are great. It's a great start for software. It is very, very basic right now. I'm sure they're going to improve and add a lot more advanced features. But let me know what you think. Is this something you would add to your software web applications?